Good morning and welcome back to the Weather Academy. Today we're diving into a new topic and it's something that's pretty common for this time of year, frost. Frequently during the winter we'll wake up and we'll see frost coating grass, leaves, and even our cars in the morning. The frost can develop at any time of day, but typically we see it develop overnight because that's when we have all the necessary conditions for frost formation. The first thing we need is temperatures at the surface to be at or below 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Now 32 degrees Fahrenheit is the temperature at which water freezes. The second thing we're going to need is calm winds under 5 miles per hour. Calm to light winds help prevent stirring of the atmosphere which allows for a thin super cooled layer of cooler temperatures to develop right at the surface. And the last thing we're going to need is clear to mostly clear skies. And yeah, cloud cover can play a huge role and whether we see frost develop or not. Think about it, all day long the sun is going to be heating up the surface of the earth and allowing for our temperatures to get nice and warm. Warm enough in fact to hold on to water vapor and that's why we get humidity a lot in the summertime because that's just water in our atmosphere. At night that heat tries to escape back up into the atmosphere but when we have this layer of clouds that's going to help act as a barrier or a blanket and even readmit some of that heat back down towards the surface of the earth. Now when we have clear nights, we don't have those clouds, there's nothing blocking our heat from evaporating or escaping back up into our atmosphere and generally on clear nights we have much cooler temperatures, especially at the surface of the earth. Now frost can form even when our official low temperature is above freezing and that's because our official temperature measurements are taken about 2 meters above ground. But cold air sinks and warm air rises so ground temperatures right at the surface can be about 5 to 10 degrees cooler than the surface or the air just above the surface. Eventually though our temperatures will cool down enough that we reach our dew point. Now the dew point is the temperature we must reach in order for our water molecules in the atmosphere to condense and form into water and that's when we get dew. We see dew a lot in the summertime but when temperatures are at or below freezing that dew will freeze into frost and frost is basically just frozen dew or frozen water on the surface of cars, leaves, and even grass. Now thanks for joining us on this week's edition of the Weather Academy. Make sure you tune in next week because we have a very fun experiment that goes right along with frost formation. Right now.